Yeah. 
ndashima imana ko yadinze ndashima imana ko nguhuvuka kwa motari cyangwa se mu guti icyo ntazi cyari cyo ngewe narinzwe shobora kuba nakobotse ariko ntago ari cy'umwanzi yari yagambiriye yari yagambiriye ibirenze ibi rero ni mubona ndirimba ni mubona nshima wenda simbashe gusimuka nk'ibisanzwe ariko mfite impamvu yo gushima nifuza ko nawe wamfasha uyu mugoro batugashima uwo mwana haleluya aturinda mu buryo tutazi aturinda mu buryo tutateguye ibintu byinshi cyane tutabona byo mu buryo bwo mu mwuka bimwe tutabasha kurebesha amaso aho niho akora ni imbaraga ze zigaragarira mu gihe twumva twebwe ntacyo twarenza aho mu gihe twumva byacitse ariko we ababona no muri cya gihe wumva uri kugenda wenyine abaguteruye ni wowe uri kugenda haleluya reka mumfashe dushimwe umwami arabikwiriye ko tumushima haleluya
Amen, amen. Tu as tangé du sommet Jambori Vugango. Zaburi, 65-5. Ahirgwa, umunutoranya, ukamuye gerez. Kugirango, agume mubikari, biao. Tu zahazgwa, nibjiza bio munzu, yawe. Ibjiza bia hera, homuru sengero guawe. Yes, ashimwekan. Yes, ashimwekan. Munzu imana, ibjiza bjinshi. Kandi, biduhaza pe. Amen. Tuge. Kwa kira bashiti, bari agati yacu niba uri hano ni bwa mbere aguruka twakire reka tureba bashiti bari agati yacu reka tukomere imana amashi twese turabasangwa imana yagize neza kukuzana ngewe nange mu nsu yayo yesa ashimwe tugiye gutangira imana amaturo ano na maturo ya construction aka agaseke kakurikiraho na maturo yishimwe ariko ari kifuzo wachize imbere y'Imana Imana ikore gitangaza uraza nituro ryishimwe agaseke kakurikiraho na gaseke kibyifuzo wende ufite kifuzo urasaka ko bagufasha gusenga dufite abanyamasengesho basenga basenge ritorero waza ni kifuzo cyawe yesa ashimwe cyane kiri age kapu kinini ni kya andizem Dim, ikimwe kia chumi, mubyo imana ya duhae. Amen, amen. Beroko tuwa kira mami, rekambivu sena none, na ugari kui kuunda, hariko nda profita. Aba mama tufite dine, ama invitasyon ala hari, nilio neuf, murabi izi, de 17h a 20h, ama invitasyon ala hari. La ika fita ama invitasyon, nange fita invitasyon. Invitasyon imwe ni 3500, biyum bibi tatu, na magana tan, gusa. Pri evangeliki. Yes, Hashem. Pri evangelik. Kandi, tobuke tukunda murugo. Mumama kunda murugo. Ibi koruga bia achu murugo. Yes, Hashem. Reka tuwa kire mama wa achu. Mami, tukomeri mana mashi menshi kiane. Yesu ashimwe. Yesu ashimwe. Yesu ashimwe. Leka du imana amashi kuko yatugejeje hano. Haleluya. Cyane cyane kuri ngewe. Leka du imana amashi atubutse. Haleluya. Biravuga ngo sikubwe imbaraga, sikubwa amaboko no kubwa umuka w'Imana. Amen. Ndabashimye mushobora kwicara ariko ndaza kubasaba tena guhaguruka. No kubamenyesha gusa ndabashimye mwese mwashoboye kuza imana ibamera umugisha. Ndavuga imana ibamera umugisha. Nukuri benshi bavuye mu kazi, benshi bavuye mu ubujyo kuza hano nako byoroshe ariko imana yabashoboje ndabashimiye. Ikindi ashaka kubabwira nkuko mama Jose yabivuze tuzayivuga ku cyumweru neza kandi azatanga azatanga itangazo kugira ngo tubatumire mwese ba mama nukuri buri mu mama numukobwa imana yatugiriye neza ari byinshi imana yagiye gukora. Uwe mwa kawosi. Nono tulavuwa mwale katugiri umuanya yogu sabana no kumenyana. Bila shovoka kwa kufa umuwa kutangira na gura agiri nshuti. Nguino tu sabane, tukumvija mbojimana, dufungure hamwe nyuma hii misi mirongwine. Ichini laba menyeshako, tufite gahunda yogu senga. Bujiri mugenzo yogu senga. Gusenga, tukwa vuzengo. Tutangie imyaka irindwi yose yose tuzaba turimo kwiyegurira imana turimo gusaba imana nkuko bavuga mu baroma 12 murongo wa mbere kugeza murongo wa kabiri dutanga imibiri yacu ibe bitambo bizima ariko Paulo avuga ngo ndabinginze pastor arimo kwigisha aravuga ngo nago ari guforsa ariko yaravuze ngo ndabinginze par les compassion Haleluya. No kubuka ngarimo kwinginga cyane dutanga ibibiri yacu bibitamo bizima byera 
bishimishwa imana amen amen noneho turifuza muri imyaka irindwi iri uh, turimo tutangiye yo kwiyegurira imana nanone nka itorero turavuga ngo reka twitoze kwitanga mu kwitanga kwacu mu buryo bumwe tushaka gukora ni mu maveye yacu akenshi ari giye abandi baza kumugoroba ariko ari nabandi bataza mu kumugoroba ariko bashoboye kuza nyuma ya ya nyuma ya sambiri bavuye ku kazi abandi barangiza kazi bitinze ariko turavuga ngo kuko turi mu minsi mirongo ine turumva ijambo ariko izaba byiza kugira ngo turusheho kwegera imana ko turi mu minsi mirongo ine ariko nkitorero kuri yo gahunda sasa ntwashize gahunda ya mave ya makesha mushimira imana kuva ikimweru cya cya kabiri cyangwa se ya gatatu twatangiye ive mu mereso amashi cyane icyo tugamije no gusenga ikindi cya kabiri tugamije muri ayo maveye kugira ngo turushe kumva ubuhamya ari giye tumva ubuhamya ariko abantu bagatanga ubuhamya cyangwa se bakavuga ibyo imana yabakoreye bakabivuga byihuta iyo turi mu materaniro ariko none muri veye tubona umwanya yo kumva ubuhamya nibande bari bahari hano mu maveye ari yo yose baho umugisha mu buhamya muzamura maboko yanyu imana ibamera umugisha n'uyu munsi dufitwe dufite amasengesho Uh, ya makesha veye tuzumva ubuhamya tuzasenga turaza gusenga no kumva ijambo ry'Imana hamwe na pasta stani amen ari nziko mukoma mashi ari byo arimo kwigisha hano kumva arimo kwihuta cyane ariko muri veye aragira umwanya uwe yo gusuka umutima we akavuga icyo Imana yashize mu mutima we kuko nukuri twahawe umugisha sibyo se goko bw'Imana mugaragaze koko twahaye umugisha dukomera Imana amashi cyane kandi uyu munsi ari igisha kumunijoro araza kwigisha no kwa gatandatu yigishe no kucyumwero ariko noneho umwanya wose Imana iduhaye no kuza hano muri veye kandi kindi ikirushijeho turahimbaza bariri bibavuga amina ndashimira cyane kwa gatano ishize twari kumwe na bamama beza cyane barakoze ko hari yabo yabamama gusa mubamera amashi pe mwatubereye umugisha pe 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 kuko yari yari veye twise ko ni yaba yaba yurubyiruko icyo shaka kubabyira ngo umukozi imana yuko tubya ni gute dushobora kugira desire kugira passion kugira ikifu ibyifuzo byacu cyo dushaka cyose reka tushire mbere na mbere imana amen ni dushira imana imbere nanone naho tuzabonera imigisha yacu no gusozwa y'amasezerano imana yaduhaye ndashimira cyane mwebe mwese mutumire nabandi muze muri uh, gahunda ya veye nejo kumugoro baturaterana no kucyumweru kucyumweru numva iyo tangazo pasta Uh, Marcelle araza gutanga indi tangazo ariko reka ngarukiraho duhaguruke twese dukomera imana amashi tunezerewe kumva ijambo y'Imana Pastor Stani Karibu Uziyo bagukome amashi uranezerwa ukumva uteye uteka reka twongera ayo mashi cyane tunezerewe kwakira umukozi w'Imana Ndashimira No more interpret you we imani mumero mugisha cyane gaga god bless you Alleluia 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 Praise the Lord Imani shimwe Well God is good Imana ni nziza all the time we have to say Before you sit down I want you to hug three people tell them that you are hugging the transformation I am the transformation yeah, yeah. you are hugging the glory of God you are hugging the transformation the presence of God the power of the living God thank you Jesus in the house of the Lord we cannot be depressed 
In the house of the Lord, joy is our strength. The Bible says in his presence there is a fullness of joy and the pleasure forevermore. Even when we are fasting, God is still good. Somebody say Amen. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for the journey of this consecration prayer and the fasting. And we thank you for what you've already spoken, done, and ordained. We also want to thank you for this week helping us through the work of the Holy Spirit to transform us to be in the image of Christ. For you have ordained us to be like a Christ. Thank you for the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Thank you for changing us day by day from glory to glory, from strength to strength, from a power to power until we become exactly your dreams, your desire, your purpose, oh Father God. We thank you for the blood that never loses its power. We thank you, Father, for the great outpouring of your spirit. We thank you, Father, for touching our life in a very special way. We thank you, Father, that you are making a way even where there is no way. We thank you, Father, for healing all the incredible diseases. We thank you for setting setting us free from sin. We thank you, Father, for setting us free from demons. We thank you, Father, for blessing us beyond measure. For the things I has not seen, he has never heard, neither entered to the heart of man. These are the things, God, that you are doing in this place. May honor be given unto you. May power be given unto you. May glory be given unto you. For you are Lord, you are worthy of our lives. Father, we thank you even for tonight, as we are coming back to the night of prayer, heaven shall come down. The windows of heaven shall open in this place. You will meet us at the point of our need. You will prepare us for your agenda. And at the end of the day, Father, you and you alone, you will be seen in our lives. Certain we are not ignorant of your devices. We have heard about the temptation of accident. We also know that you are doing whatever you want to do to abort this agenda. But we want you to know no weapon formed against us in this 40 days shall be able to prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Even tonight, we bind the principalities and the power in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind the rulers of darkness in this place, in this city, in this nation, in the name of Jesus. We bind the horse of wickedness wickedness in the heavenly places in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare tonight a breakthrough into our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare tonight a breakthrough our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare the 40 days a breakthrough our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare this year a breakthrough our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that Jesus and Jesus alone you will rule and the Rain far above every other knee. Every knee in Kigali shall continue to bow unto you. Every knee in Rwanda shall continue to bow down unto you. Every knee in our life shall continue to bow unto you. For you alone, you are Lord. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the soon coming King. You are the Blessed of the Lord. We thank you, Father. Here we are tonight. Holy Spirit. Some trust in their horses. Other trust in their chariots. Our trust is in you tonight. Our trust is in you. Have your way. Possess our intelligence. Possess our mind. Possess our attention. Possess our all that we have. The consciousness of man possess us. Remove any form of ignorance. Destroy 
every form of unbelief. May doubt be erased in our minds. Influence us tonight to the mind of Christ. Where greater is he the one that is within us than the one in this world. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. With our topic, transformation is a result of the work of the Spirit. And human will engagement. Which means for us to be what God called us to be. God's dream is to be like him. Let us make men in our own image. In biology, they will define a man. Psychology, Kale. Psychologists also they will define a man based on his mind and soul. And sociology will also define a man individual that live among others. So every discipline has a definition of man. Tell us man is the image of God is the image. Which means for us to function according to the will of God, we must understand our definition. Who are we? Man does not have the image of God. Man is the image of God. Because if he has it, he will lose it. But if he is, he cannot lose it. He can only destroy it. So, that's why the creation is crying. It's looking for the Manifestation, the revelation of the sons, the image of God. Oh, God is a spirit. So if we are God's image, God is a spirit, man is also spiritual. That is why nothing in this life will satisfy you, my friend. You want $10 million they give you, you celebrate. After two months, $10 million become a little. You want $50 million. After a $50 million, you, you came from no million, from $200. But because it's increasing, you begin to feel unfulfilled. You bought this car, they say, this is the latest car. Tomorrow they made another one, yours become out of fashion, so you also want the new latest one. Some of you in your cupboard, you have a Both the day you bought them, they were the best. But today, when you look at them, you say, why in the world should I waste my money on this dress? But that day, it was the dream dress. Just to tell you that no, nothing in this life will satisfy you. Because the real you can only be satisfied with the spiritual things. You were designed spiritual. Now we say spiritual issue require discipline. And that is where many Christians they are not willing to lay down their lives. And in discipline, 
everywhere there is discipline there are these four elements ahari discipline rero haba ibi bintu bine bikurikira you need to have a goal ugomba kugira intego you need to have a self set rules ugomba gushira amategeka kugenga you need to have a priority ugomba kugira nibintu byingenzi kuruta ibi you need to sacrifice kandi ugomba na kugira kwitanga cyangwa se kugira ibyo bigomba uh by god grace um as is leading me as i'm praying kuko ubuntu bw'imana i desire that uh, tomorrow i must reach to a priority turifuza kuba twagera ku bijyanye n'ibyibanze kuvuga ku bintu byibanze kuruta ibindi sande i'm trusting god to use me on the sacrifice turifuza rero ku cyumwe ko tuzavuga ku kwigomwa cyangwa se ku and i tell you my friends it will mean nothing to you if you don't understand the principle of spiritual discipline and the sacrifice ubyo kuri bizaba ntacyo bivuze kuri nutamenya ihame byimyumvire cyangwa ya discipline yo kutamba cyangwa yo kwigomwa and i know and i know i know god will bless you kandi zineza yuko imana izaguha umugisha byo kuri let me tell you a story um, it's a church I go in Zambia every year. every year is assemblies of god in zambia hari itore ryitwa assemblé de dieu riri muri almost every zambia buri mwaka so the first time i went there gambire ajayo i met the bishop some in botswana and so he invited me and then he did not know me much he heard about me i was preaching somewhere in botswana and then he said wow i want you to come to my people so he gather all his churches together he brings me in almost every year so the first time I went there, I was on the poster pastor Stenis Moliki. Stenis Moliki. Stenis Moliki. 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 Yes, that's my, 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 my nice name. Thank you, sir. And then the following year, I went I found the poster change now I am prophet Stenis Mulik. I don't ask I don't ask question no, I don't ask I just do what I do But in my heart I just know I'm a pastor I'm a pastor The following year I went I moved from a pastor Apostle Stenis Moliki. Ono basanga atakira bihariho Apostle cyangwa se intumwa Moliki. Yo ni inkuru yabaye. Then the fourth time I went no apostle uh, apostle was repeated twice apostle 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 cyangwa se intumwa byasubiye mu shuri byiri. So I was curious as to know must ask this question. Why here in Zambia my position is changing? Why the change? Hanyuma ngo maze agira amatsiko yo kumenya niye mpamvu ahindurira ubwo buri munsi buri munsi. Is you 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 don't know the first time you came here you were prophesying when you were preaching when you left most of those prophecies they came to pass everyone said that man is a prophet that's why when we were doing the advice said no this time this man is a prophet prophet senis i said ah now just call me Stenis. don't put those things upon me because the more you get those titles i will lose what i have isn't that it three is known by the fruit yes 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 I can tell you a story of many places I went. I was talking to another sister over the phone. I was speaking to her. She said, "I know, I know. What do you speak to me? You are my prophet." But I want to tell you something. I'm telling this one to tell you something. What I was praying today for you. By God grace. The Lord said, "I must tell you this." If you are going to comply, 
with what is taking place here in this 40 days. There are two things will happen to you. One, you will end the year 2015 with a testimony which you never had before in your life. Two, your blessing of 2015 they will never go to 2016. Before this year is over, whatever God promised to you, you will receive it in the name of Jesus. If you will comply about what the Lord is speaking to you in this 40 days, the devil is a liar. You will touch all your blessings this year. You will possess all your prophecy this year. You will smell all your prophecy this year in the name of Jesus. 2016 we will never call your blessing of 2015 you will possess what belongs to you this year it doesn't matter how many days will remain you will never cross in the new year without your blessings if the Lord promise you a job you will get your job before this year is over if the Lord promise you a child you will be pregnant before this year is over if the Lord promise you a ministry you will touch your ministry before this year is off if the Lord promise you for the Lord shall fulfill his ways if you will comply to what is telling you in this 40 days so shall it be in Jesus name now let's continue we are on the set rules I want us to read one more scripture or two on the set of rule and then um, so I will deal on the church life few minutes on church life before I go to 11 verse 28 1 Corinthians and John chapter 2 verse 17. Let me just let me read. Let me read to save time. Okay. First Corinthians chapter 11. No, no, second Corinthians, please. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians 11, 28. Yeah. No, no, second Corinthians. Yeah. Okay, this one is first. It says this in Second Corinthians. It says, beside those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. I want you to see this, my friend. Today I was going through this issue. I found it even with David. We don't, we don't read that one. We, in, in Psalm 6, now don't read it. Let's get it because Jesus, the disciples also they caught it when they saw the same symptom. 17. You will see. John 2 17. The disciples caught it when they remembered what they saw on the Lord Jesus Christ. It says um, they remembered. Uh, his disciple remember that this was all in Corinthians is Jesus in Joel is David in Psalm 69 verse 9. You will see same thing. And, and when I look at their lives and I found common things hear me very careful there is nothing God will do on this earth without the church number one number two our church is the member of a universal church ERC is a local church to the universal church you are an individual in ERC which is a local church to universal church. 
So when God want to do something he will do it through the church. Through you. Through you. God takes the church very seriously because that is the only thing that he has on this earth. Do you know that the Antichrist is around? According to the eschatological, the Bible said the wicked one is there, but he can't manifest. Because of the church. But when the church will be taken away, the Antichrist he will be revealed. Will be already taken. So what is stopping him is the church. That tells you that this institution we call the church has the power if he has the power to suffocate the beasts which means he has the power to suffocate poverty he has the power to suffocate sickness and disease he has the power to suffocate oppression but many Christians they are not aware of the value of the church the Bible says Paul says daily I am concerned about the church we are baptized in the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit baptizes us to one another. So you are not you without me as a church. He baptizes us to the Jew and to the Greek to the free and to the slaves so in the church you don't look at the background one thing I have seen in South Africa where I am by God's grace if, if a pastor is a Shangani Shangani is a tribe if a pastor is a Shangani 90% of the church are Shangans if a pastor is a Zulu 90% or 95% they are Zulu in my is a province of Shangans, Venda and Bapedi so when you go there I know pastors when you go there that dominant language are spoken there's nothing wrong if we are really baptizing the spirit the church cannot be connected because of a tribal or ethnicity reasons the church is supposed to be connected by the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit baptizes you to one another you don't look at where he's coming from you look at your brother and the sisters Samba say hallelujah man. Now, Miss Tennis, West Tennessee. I'm found in the city of Shangans, vendors, and Bapedi. Now, Tennis with his background of Congo. Now, there are no Congolese around. So, how am I going to survive if I follow ethnicity? So by God's grace, people who come to the church, I, I'm a pastor. They don't come to me because we are connected in ethnicity. They come because they are baptized in the Holy Spirit. Now, when God baptizes us in the Holy Spirit, you begin to protect one another. The Holy Ghost will baptize you because you are designed to connect one another. When God created Adam and Eve, the Bible says he created them and he blessed 
them. God does not bless him. God does not bless her. God only bless them. How good and pleasant for so the brethren to be together. It is there God command the blessing. So if I know my blessing is with you, my friend, I will fight for you. I will protect you. I will defend you because you are the source of my blessing. But unfortunately today in our church, we don't understand a discipline of church life. Number two, what is your zeal? Where is your zeal for the house of God? Paul says daily I'm concerned about the church. You will never put discipline in your life if this beautiful family is not your concern. Paul said not monthly, daily, which means every time I woke up, I think about the church. I think about my pastor. I think about my leadership. I think about what is happening. I think about what they say. Daily, I am concerned about the church. Jesus, yes, he entered the temple. Yes, he cleansed it. He said, My house is the house of prayer. The disciples they look at him. They say, Wow, look at the zeal of the house of the Lord as eating him up. You know what I mean, eating him up, which means the driving desire of the house of God is more than any other desire in his life. It's the priority of his life. For you to get to the level of laying your life down on the discipline, this family, this church must eat you up. When we talk about the prayer and the fasting, when we talk about the giving, when we talk about the growth, when we talk about the consecration, it must eat you up. And look at the three people I mentioned. David, Jesus, and the Paul. Look at, look at them. David. Dawidi was the only king who ruled over all. What did you say? He's one who rule over all the enemies, all the tribes. Because his heart was after the house of God. He said, I cannot sleep in my mansion and the heart of God being outside. He said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than enjoying pleasure outside him. Look at Jesus. He was in charge over all. Nothing, Nothing resisted him. Look at Paul. Even though he was not with Jesus physically, he achieved more than those who were working with Jesus. What is the difference? His heart was after the work of God. For us to be transformed to the image of Christ, we need to desire these things and they put self-rule to the church life. Our church must eat you up. Listen, people ask for, pray for me for promotion. Let me tell you, the hand of the pastor cannot break God the Bible says promotion comes not from east, not from west, not from south, not from north. Promotion comes from God. How that God will promote you while his eyes are going to and fro. 
Looking those who are the Bible says those who are faithful. Other versions say those who are disciplined. So that he can show himself stronger on the earth. Even in the world. They will never promote you even though you are highly academic. If you are not disciplined. They work start at 8. You always come quarter to nine. With your big degree from Harvard. Listen, they, they, the degree will never impress them. They will be concerned about your discipline. Why you always come late? But you may not even have a degree. But you come half past seven. You are already in the office before eight. I tell you, after a period of time, that boss will begin to think, how can I promote this man? How can I promote this woman? Many of us, we do the same in the church. We think that God is blind. The church will start at eight. And purposely, you come at half past eight, quarter to nine. Pastors, they won't speak because they will offend you. But the one who promotes is watching. Even if they are the one who promotes is watching. His eyes are going to and fro. Why? Lack of personal discipline on the things of God. So the first rule you must set yourself is the rule of the discipline of the church life. The second rule is the discipline of prayer life. Here I can't talk much because... Uh, I love to be part of this family church because of prayer. We have a grace of prayer here because of our spiritual parents. They have sold that in prayer. And tonight we are coming back. I think I will emphasize much on that issue of prayer. Also. What I've discovered here, we don't have a problem of prayer. The only little problem some of us we have is the discipline of prayer. The Bible says, For we do not know. For we do not know what we ought to pray. Ought. The Bible did not say that, no, we don't know how to pray. No, no, check is very careful. He didn't say. He said, we do not know how or what we ought to pray. So which means we are doing the praying, but we do not know how those praying is supposed to be. I saw in the life of Jesus as he was going into the wilderness. Remember, the Holy Spirit was leading him into the wilderness to be tempted. The Holy Spirit was not leading him to pray. He was leading him to be tempted. But himself, Jesus, established prayer as a discipline. The Holy Spirit was not telling him to go and fast. No. Read in the Bible. The Holy Spirit, you go to the wilderness, you are going to pray, you are going to fast. 
The Holy Spirit was leading him to go the purpose of the wilderness to be tempted. But him, Jesus, established a prayer and a fasting in order to conquer the devil. So we all know these kinds. He said this kind, they only go out through prayer and fasting. So there will be a time nobody must tell you it's a time of prayer and fasting. But you must know whose kind of the spirit are you dealing with. So when I saw in Jesus, I saw a personal discipline in prayer life. Now, what is discipline in prayer life or discipline prayer? It means your prayer must have a place where no matter how you can pray, Paul said pray without ceasing. But you must also have an address of your altar. Personal altar where you meet with God. Second, that altar must have a time. So your prayer is not yet discipline if it does not have a permanently altar and exact time while you do that. So I don't know if you can pray as the Holy Ghost lead. Yes, we all also pray as the Holy Ghost lead. But discipline also requires at a specific time I will be at a specific place and doing my prayer. Amen. Amen. I say amen. Amen. I say amen. Amen. You see, we will enjoy prayer here. If from our home we have a personal altars. You cannot just come here. You no, know, we are going to point. The prayer of the church is the overflow of our personal altars in the house. Jesus had a Gethsemane, a place of prayer. I remember Daniel. Daniel, they say, nobody must pray to any other God. Daniel 6 verse 10, you will see. The Bible says, stop praying to any other God for one month. You can only pray to the king. Anyone who will pray to any other God shall be thrown in the den of a lion. Daniel, listen, now when Daniel knew that writing was signed, he went into where? Huh? Being open in his chamber. Which means his altar was in his chamber in, toward Jerusalem. Listen to this one. He kneeled upon his knees. How many times? How many times? Now listen to me. Three times a day. Am I right? Yeah. And prayed. And gave thanks before his... Listen. As he did it for time. Which means this was not the first time he was doing it. It was his custom. Every day, three times in the chamber. Every day, three times in the chamber. Every day, three times in the chamber. Even when they stop him, he said, no, Makanjani, this is my altar. I will kneel down. Every minute, this is my altar. I will kneel down. Down. Every evening, this is my altar. I will kneel down. Maybe a disciplined prayer must have a specific place, must have a specific time, so that God Almighty will transform your life. You can't just pray led by the Spirit. Led by the Spirit must be the overflow of your place and time. Prayer is a 
is the key to transform us to the image of Christ. I want to show you something. Read Luke chapter 9, 29. When you have an altar, when you have a time, this is what will happen. Jesus, he was praying early in the morning. He was praying all night. He was praying during the day. Listen to this one. As he prayed, what happened? How are you? My other version says, as he prayed, he was transformed. We call it the prayer of a transfiguration. So, the transfiguration, which we are talking about, the transformation, came as he prayed. Friend, when you are praying on your altar, when you are a specific time on your altar, prayer brings the inwardly identity of God to come out. Pray. The of his face was altered, changed. Prayer can change you. Prayer can transform you. That is why you must be desperate in prayer. Don't you pray in professionalism. Oh dear Lord, you're father in the name of Jesus. No, 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 no. Listen to what it is. Please, let's see how Jesus was praying. I, I wanted to check how Jesus was praying <laughs> to be transformed. What made him to be transformed? <laughs> Hebrews, Hebrews 5, 7. Please, <laughs> put it. You will see the kind of prayer Jesus was praying that transformed him in the days of his flesh, not as God. Jesus Offered up prayers. Yes, we are And the supplication. With loud cries and tears. If Jesus. In prayer, can offer prayer with a cry. <laughs> to prayers and the supplication and the cry and the tears. I can't believe a person can go to God without crying. Jesus cry in prayer. Most of our prayer, it does not to transform us because we are very superficial in Jesus name in Jesus name move 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 receive, receive. you see <laughs> that, that prayer my friend is just, is just helping you to speak a good English but the prayer that will transform you you must cry you must say the loud cry you must become crazy in the day of his flesh whenever Jesus was praying Elia, Elia, Lamasa Wakatani, Lamasa Wakatani. He was giving his emotions. He was giving his personality. He was giving his tears to him. Who will transform his life? I'm not against the way we pray, but I'm not against the us, when us, when us, let us pray here. We pray like a cat. Friend, prayer is a work. Prayer is a work. You must, you must be tired. You must be exhausted because you are praying. But if you think that pray, you came with a suit. You got out of the suit. Friend, you didn't need to come. Prayer, you must work. In the day of the flesh, he offered prayer. Everything inside. Look at Moses. He spent 40 days on a mountain. When he came down, he was transformed. Can't you set that goal? 
Please, after these 40 days, I want to come out of the glory. I want to be transformed when people see me. I want to give you a testimony. Uh, not out of just a testimony. Sometimes back I went for a prayer, a long prayer. I came out. A woman met me in town. She says, Sir, your face is shining. Friend, do you know that two hours, three hours before God, you will be ripe by God. When you go out, people want to see you, they will see God. The only problem we have in our prayers, we are not focused. You are praying. God, hallelujah, Mandabas. I'm in a prayer. I'll come back to you. You are praying. You are praying. You are praying. You are praying. That is you and the flag. God is not there. But when really you are praying, you mean business. You and God, no phone around. You mean business. You and God, no phone around. Friends. Two, three hours, Amasari you will Kato. come out Uzas with Oka. something rub on you. Something will happen to you. People will smell you. You can't be with a man without smelling like him. You can't. We are praying here. But we are not putting intensity. That will bring transformations. The hardest work in this world, somebody made a study. They say the, that's the hardest work on earth is, is prayer. How can you spend four hours, five hours, even two hours where there is no one? If people are looking in the camera, just imagine we are praying in the room, people are checking in the camera, the man is made, they are not right. Alone. You told people, it's me. Where's part of it to go 40 days? Something must rub on you. I said something must rub on you. I said in this 40 day make it a goal. Something must happen to you. I said something must happen to you. It is possible. When the stone Stephen Stephen, Stephen look at the heavens. Stephen, the Bible says his face shone with the glory of God. I promise you in this fasting, there will be people you shall shine with the glory of God. I say you shall shine with the glory of God. Prayer brings transformation. Prayer brings changes. So put a self, a self rule. Discipline. How do you want to pray? I had a, a minister of the gospel on the TV. She, 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 she was saying, you don't need to pray for a long time. Uh, you don't need to pray even two minutes. God, I, I, don't, I don't know about those prayers. Because Jesus in Matthew 26 he found those guys sleeping. <laughs> you know what he said? He said, hey, you can't even pray with me just for an hour. Am I right? My son put it. Matthew 26. When I heard that message on the TV, I said, ah, these are the grace messages. No, I don't know. I don't know those things. Two minutes only. So what are you going to do with the rest of the day? In the days, I mean, in Matthew 26, in the days, I mean, in Matthew 26, he woke them up. When Jesus had finished all this saying, he said to the disciples, 
Comme ça. Oh non non non. Go to the real verse verse um, verse 40. Murongo wa mirongwine. Murongo wa mirongwine. 40. 40. I want you to see that. Yes. Now listen. He came to the disciples and found them what? Sleeping, am I right? And then he said to Peter, so could you not watch for, for, two, for one minute? Huh? Which means one hour is the minimum. Am I not right? No, I'm not the one who wrote it. Now I'd like to show you. And I'm not the one who wrote it. I'm not the one who wrote it. So one hour is a minute because he did in that time he went thrice. So when he came back, he told them one hour, which means he did three hours in front of them. He said, just look at English. I don't know if in your hand it will make sense, but in English it's very clear. He said, do you not watch with me just for one hour. Huh? So you want to pray for five minutes. So the rest, you want to read magazine, you want to send SMS. The snake will give you tough time on this flesh. Go to 41. Listen, go to 41. Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. Now, listen to me. The spirit indeed is willing. When I read it, Papa when I read it, Jesus knows that we are tired. Yes, sir, but but still, he's expecting us in tiredness to put a hallelujah, man. He said, I know the spirit is willing, your flesh is weak, but please rise up and pray. Rise up and pray. Don't use excuse. Oh, I slept very late. I was watching a movie in the news. I will pray. He said, no, no, no. I know you are weak. But I'm expecting you in your weakness to pray. It will take a discipline, my friend. It will take a serious discipline. You and I, you know what we do? Yeah, what time? Six. You, you bring the blanket to make sure that you know it goes. Prayer. Bring transformation. The prayer individual. Like tonight, we are coming to pray. I encourage you, don't miss. I want to share with you about the power of the throne. The power of the throne is an altar. Every throne, my friend, has an altar. Every throne in this life has an altar, including political throne, including a chief throne, has an altar. Your life also has a throne. The time has come. You must sit on your throne. How do you sit on your throne? Build an altar. Build an altar. Totally, I close on this one. Discipline with the scriptures. He said to them, I want you to see what the Men shall not live by the bread alone. By every weight. Bread is not the only thing that you need. Bread. Umugati. Men shall not lead by the bread alone. Men Umuno. shall not live. Does it happen also here? In, in South Africa, I've seen doctors and nurses. During, during operation, when is, when is lunch time? They will leave you. They go and eat. Lunch time. The Bible says men shall not live by the bread alone. We have a discipline in bread. But we don't have a discipline in the scriptures. <laughs> men shall not live by bread alone. We. We. If we are not fasting, uh, breakfast must be there. 
Light must be there. Supper must be there. By force, by fire. By fire. Yeah. But the Bible says, Men shall not be lived by the bread alone. What time do we have for the scriptures? This book of the Lord, Joshua 1 8, should not be depart out of your mouth. Meditate day and the night. I want you to close. I want us to close on John chapter 17, yeah, verse 17. Let, let John 17, verse 17. Because he's talking about transformation. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is true. The word sanctify is the same word transformation. Transform them. The Bible said the entrance of the word brings light. We're supposed to make time for the word. I love the Christian of Berlin in Acts 17. The, 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 the Bereans. The Bereans. Yeah. They will go home. They sit down. And and then they begin to find out what was preached. Sanctify them. The word of God can transform your life. But you must make time. Make time. Day and night. We have a time for everything, but we don't have a time for personal devotion of the scriptures. The word to transform our lives. My word. So every time you are in the word, you are sitting on the spirit and the truth. It's like a mirror. It's like a mirror. As you behold on it. It will transform you to the way you are looking at. They always say that, no, yesterday another sister phoned me from Switzerland. She said, hey, I look at you. Now you are looking like, you look like with your wife. You know, they always say like that. My, my, my understanding, you know why we look alike? It's not like, no, we change. We didn't change. It, it's because we, we stay so much together. And then when we begin to produce children, just like Jacob did for those goats and the lamb, they were looking at all those uh, mandrak on the water. They took the spot. They never had a pot. So our children, they take all our parts. And then they make us to be look like, like sister and brother. So it's the same with the word. As you stay longer with the word, I am a bless. Sooner or later, that blessing you are reading, it will begin to reflect in your life. I am a holy. Sooner or later, whatever you are reading, it will begin to reflect in your life. The Bible said, do not to be here as a only, but be a doer. Why? A doer is like reading on the mirror. And the word cannot deceive you. Please, but my friends, make a personal, strict discipline on the scriptures. When you woke up, no joke. What time do you want to meditate? After the church, how much time are you willing to check the scriptures? Before you sleep, how many time are you willing to open the Bible? The scripture requires time. And as you do so, the Holy Spirit who is upon you who is in you will begin to work you transform you taking the deathly things out begin to bring new things in you bow your head wherever you are just bow your head wherever you are thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. 
I just want you to ponder in one minute. Everything I spoke here, I just listen to the voice of the Spirit. God wants to do wonders in your life. God wants to advertise himself through our lives. God wants to transform you to the image, glorious image of his son is waiting on you to respond. How's your relationship with your church. Is your prayer life discipline or you just pray? How serious the word of God in your life? How serious it is. How serious it is. Tonight, I humbly ask you to ask God for the, that grace to come upon your life to become so seriously disciplined. And let's ask also the grace that you will be able to establish discipline that you will be able to afford, afford. Afford. Can we pray together? In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Father, here we are tonight. We thank you for the word. You send your word, and your word heal them. We receive this word with meekness, with all humility, so that it may find a place in our lives. Help us, O God, by your Holy Spirit, to be connected to our local church to become concerned of this family. Give us the burden to be concerned of our church. Anything concern ERC, Father, let it be our burden. Concern about the resources. Concern about the continual growth concern about the leadership stability concern about the well-being of our spiritual parents concern about our brothers and sisters concern about the finances of the church God bind us with the concern of our church trust us mighty God in the mighty name of Jesus that we can be used to be a blessing oh Lord may our heart be eaten up with the zeal of this house may our heart be eaten up with the zeal of this house let nothing move us God let nothing take our place Oh God, for your house, let the zeal of this house eat us up. We ask you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will raise up men and women, you will raise up sons and daughters who are sold out completely for the commission of this church who are laid down their lives to see the fulfillment of the vision being established, mighty God. Spirit of God, help us to establish personal discipline along this line, along the line of the church 
along the line of a personal prayer and the prayer of the church, along the line of a personal study of the scriptures, personal devotion. God, we don't want somebody to, to, to praise us. We want to have an inwardly witness that surely the Holy Ghost is helping us. We thank you. We bless you. We honor you. As you are preparing us to be transformed, as your glory is rubbing upon our lives, help us until the end to finish what we have started. In the name which is above every other name, we thank you even as we are coming back. You will help us with the spirit of prayer and the supplication. We will pray in the new level, in a new way of praying. And you will change things in our lives. You will change things in our church. You will change things in our city. You will change things in this nation. Tonight, Father, we are trusting you to change things for eternity. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.